So thinking about providing your own living, uh, you know, I was a paid employee for most of my life, but I never made as much money as when I decided to show kids what the Premier of Malaysia did. I'd been watching out of the corner of my street peddlers in New York for years, and I was pretty certain that they made boxcar amounts of money. So I tried it myself. I have no artistic ability at all, but I bought a bunch of little plastic rings, clear plastic rings, and a bunch of pieces of colored plastic. And I glued the colored plastic to the top of the clear ring in all kinds of weird shapes. And I set up a ring table. I was being paid twenty-five dollars a day as a school teacher. The first day I was on the street, I made hundred and twenty-five dollars, which really impressed me. It was all in cash. Uh, and the second day, some wonderfully flamboyant guy with a floppy hat and a cape on came by. He had a retina. Who knows what he was? A designer off the boat or something snapped his fingers and the slave swept all the rings on my table off into the bag and said, how much is owed? And I just picked and said, oh, it's $300. That's a tremendous amount of work. Probably was two hours work and about $10 <laughs> worth of plastic there. So I knew, I knew that I'd hit on the sun. <laughs> So forever after, I would send kids out to spy on street peddlers that set up across the street, count the number of transactions. I showed them how using the yellow pages of a phone book to find out where the people got their material. And then we figured out from their sales price what they were making per item. You could roughly figure out that somebody who sells umbrellas on the street when it's pouring rain expects to go home with a thousand dollars profit. This is back in the 60s, mind you. Doctor didn't expect to get home with that amount of money. Of course, it doesn't rain every day, but it is pretty cold every 